All right, y'all. Back with some Bayonetta. Chapter five. Lost holy grounds. So I went and switched the costume to a nun. Only seems appropriate. I'll switch up the uh, equipment again. You don't need ice skates. You don't need uh, flaming claws. Let's see. We'll go with um, handguns just to mix things up. And in the offhand, we'll go with claws in the hand. Actually, no. Go with uh, the whip here. And on the feet. Yeah, see, there's not a lot of variety. It's the thing. Um, we'll go back to the zillions on the feet, I think. Actually, we'll, we'll put rockets on the feet since we had them in the hands before. Or maybe, you know what, I'm being indecisive, but yeah, we'll do um, two bazillions on the feet. We'll start off with the handguns. Just a little bit of added challenge, less damage, no wicked weaves. We'll make it work. As I recall, this platform's gonna fall. If you've ever uh, beaten Bayonetta yourself, then you would know that the reward for beating the game on the uh, default difficulty is um, a set of regular ass handguns. Let's go over here, let me see what happens. You can see there's no um, there's no fancy wicked weaves even when I'm doing special attacks and also getting hit. Oh my god. pretty bad. I'm one hit away from death. And I don't think that I can just not get hit for the rest of the chapter, so... Um, I'm not above using items. Let's do that real quick. I have the items, so I'll just use them. Now this is where you'd normally face these enemies for the first time, so this is chapter 5. But, you've been fighting these guys since what, like... The prologue of chapter 1? Grace and glory. Very, very hard to fight. Let's see if I gotta dodge, yep. You dodge twice. Also, try not to get hit so much. Oh no. Yeah, I'm, uh, I might have to change my mind about not spamming parry because, um, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I might change my mind about that. Just like, get through this game. And because I, kept, I skipped the cutscene, I forgot I had to dodge. Dodge that, there we go. Go ahead and do this. Oh 
Oh my god, three more? See, this difficulty is no joke. This fight should have been over by now. time. Just churning that butter. Oh my god. Ah, the health pickup was right there too. Alright. Alright. Shadow remains cast. Gonna get through this. I gotta ask myself if I'm gonna edit out these failures or not. Dodge it the wrong way. I got the evil harvest rosary explosion wouldn't hit immediately. It's like a little bit of a fuse to it. Come on, let me charge already. Oh my god. I just can't get the charge attack. I want to do that charge attack, damn it. There we go. That was worth it. Even got a little bit of a, a heal off of it. I immediately take the damage again. Can't use the whip. I'm just eat it. There we go. All I gotta do is focus a little bit and I can get it done. If I have like two full bars of health. Oh my god, 6300 damage. That's, that's awful. Is falling? I'm good. get points for completing the verse? Like, what's going on? Why is it still going? That's weird. Hmm. Alright, this is the one with the tail. Rather than the one that's on fire. Oh, but his friend is here too.
already mashing it. I'm starting to do pretty well again. Oops. Thought I had that guy in hit stun. Laser. Tried it. Tiny music, get over here. I want them to get over here because I'm pretty sure if I don't bring them, then these platforms will fall and I'm trying to avoid that. Yeah, see, as soon as I went here, they started to fall. But yeah, I didn't do enough. I didn't do a good enough combo. So if this was Bayonetta 2, I would have gotten a platinum rating on the combo. But I did get hit a lot anyway. And I feel like I'm improving gradually again. Moon's out so we can witch walk. Oh, I'm about to do some horizontal free fall here. Way over there. I think I might be able to, like, backtrack and, uh... Let me actually check if there's an Alfheim. Oh, okay, never mind. There's no path, so no Alfheim. See if I can platinum this. Of course, if I press one button, I'll uh, switch to regular gravity, I think, and then die. Which I don't want to do. Just left click. Oh, right, it goes straight into uh, this fight. Now, this is one of the meanest torture attacks in the game. Like, look at this. Can I actually do this? Damn, <laughs> I tried. I should have switched to the, the whip when there was just one left. But if I do the, the hold attack and then press down, I can do the uh, swing and I might be able to swing them into each other. Yeah, they kinda, they're immune to it, so. I should have started parrying after I got hit. All 
Alright. The animation is a little bit long, though. Now that's mean. No damage. These folks again. Oh, I keep forgetting I can't skip the um, enemy introduction cutscenes because they always end in an attack. Pull out the chainsaw. Then this becomes a regular weapon in the next game. Or at least something based on it. Another very, very mean torture attack. Oh, right, get to keep it as a, an angel arm. At least for a little bit. I'm pretty sure that angel arm is unique in that Bayonetta summons it herself rather than taking it from a dropped, uh, from an enemy dropping it. Alright, if I'm being honest, I think I've had enough of the, the handguns and their low damage in this difficulty. Um, so I'm going to switch it back up to Pillow Talk. And, uh... I'll put the shotguns on the feet just because I really like the, the whole them dealing damage when you jump off an enemy. That's a really nice touch. Let's see, I'm going to go up here. Of course, I don't think there's that much level left anyway, come to think of it, but... Probably keep at least this loadout the same on the next chapter. Up here, hit double jump and then land with some speed. Open that door. And I tried to skip the cutscene, but I guess there wasn't a cutscene. Oh, camera angle's getting a little weird. These big guys show up. I'm gonna skip the cutscene, but I'm definitely gonna dodge immediately. Okay, so I'm up here. Sucks is that when you parry, it cancels your um, your charge. It's like I wanna throw the parry input out there just to stay safe, but kind of jeopardizes my ability to deal damage from relying on charge attacks. Oops, you don't like that. Damn that damage. There we go. 
All I had to do was get off one fully charged attack and uh, that sword cut him up like a knife through butter. Alright, we've got the full moon, so we got witch walking. Oh, there's glyphs. There's glyphs. I gotta watch out for the glyphs. Oh, I still got hit. I dodged too early. Yeah, I can't, um... Ooh. Oh, interesting. The, um... Had a different weapon just then. Here we go. Quick Umbran Spear, Teleport. Another cut with that uh, chainsaw. But I am knocking on Death's door right now, so... I really gotta try not to get hit. Oh right, I gotta go upstairs. Pull the lever. Have a battle. Yeah, I knew what's gonna happen. Oh man, I definitely uh, pure platinum that, but I landed that attack with the wicked bee, so I didn't get the special message. Wow, let me see my rating. Yep, yep. You can always tell when it happens. You just don't get hit. Combos are kind of nice, but yeah, I didn't have the right uh, weapon. Oh right, I gotta um, activate the statues and then do it. Oh wow, I forgot there's no border, oh my god. Yeah, because the wind is meant to push you off, so the game doesn't protect you from running off a ledge. Ooh, can't see through the tree. Ah, uh, can't see. I'm about to get buffeted to death. By the spirit winds, or whatever you call them. Let me use one more item, because that would be pretty terrible to die outside of a fight. Uh, what's over here? Probably just uh, halos. Yeah, see, there's the wind. It's moving me around while I'm trying to charge. Yep, that's funny. Fight. 
Climax. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Specking, I think, so mashing X. Yep. Bird's belly is full. And it returns to the, uh, to Purgatorio, I think it's called. Oh, Inferno. Purgatorio is where we go, um, we're just running around in this plane, but, like, all the humans are silhouettes. Yeah, Pillow Talk is a fun weapon. Couldn't unlock it without the cheat codes. You gotta beat the game on the hardest difficulty. But it's worth the effort. I mean, it's a damn lightsaber. Oh my god, I couldn't dodge. <laughs> I should have charged it immediately. How many deaths is that? Five? Oh my god. This is really bad. I almost want to do over the video now, but... Nah, I'm gonna just live with it. See this uh, journey that I go on. Hopefully, as these videos progress, I improve at the game and get better and better. This dying sucks. There we go. That's how it should have went the first time. Of course my combo was terrible because I, I just did a bunch of damage. Now this is the point where you would normally learn how to do Beast Within. Like I'm doing it right now. this boss. It's kind of showing up to be annoying. You're like, oh my god, I need to transform into a, a beast right now. Otherwise I won't make it. Three point landing. Classic. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, boss fight. big fan of these John boss fights. I guess it's after the fight that she learns Beast Within, or remembers it, rather. That's tough. This is a fun fight. Yep. Right here. This is the moment. P 
panther was in. Oh my! That was bloody amazing! Alright, that's it for chapter 5. How many fights did I miss? Um, 5 fights, and I died one time for each one that I missed. Um, the Stone Award is telling me that I'm terrible at the game. Um, it really doesn't matter what which score I keep. I have a long way to go. But I'm gonna press on. I'm just trying to get through it. And I'll get to uh, Bayonetta 2. Play that on the hardest difficulty for the first time. Um, actually, for the second time ever. Because I only ever did it on the Wii U version. But yeah, that was it for Chapter 5 of Bayonetta. Tune in next time if you want to see the rest of the game. Peace out.